as I'm continuing uh, continuing with my um, reading of Dar Jamal's uh, essays on here, I want to make one thing very clear to everyone. What I'm saying on here is not an anti-Jewish rant. So for anyone who uh, uh, who tunes into my videos, um, you should know from the outset that I am not um, some person who hates the Jewish people as a whole. I mean, coming from my own background and, and with my own uh, past generation in Germany being involved in the Holocaust, uh, you know, this this is probably beyond um, discussion. The Holocaust happened. It's not. It was real. It, it, there is no question about it. Okay. And so, uh, for for some of my listeners on here who uh, start going off on anti-Jewish rants, um, you know, the Jews, uh, the financial system, and all of this, uh, the Jews control Hollywood and the financial system. It's all bullshit. Okay. This, this is the basic tenement, the basic crux of anti-Semitism, and I'm completely against it. And so, please, um, if you believe in that um, uh, kind of stuff, um, it's probably not good for you to continue listening to my, um, to my videos, basically. What I have to say about Israeli policy and so on has nothing to do with anti-Semitism. It has to do um, with um, basic uh, <laughs> humanity and um, and with governmental policies. It has nothing to do with uh, with racism or anything else. You know, my uh, parents' generation in Germany um, learned it the hard way, and um, coming into it from the next generation. Um, much of it has been uh, overlooked and uh, it's, uh, it's fallen by the wayside and um, there's much guilt all around in, in disseminating information which is um, you know all over the internet now uh, which is basically false so when I speak about Israeli policy, it, this is not anti-Jewish, it's not anti-anything, it's anti-policy uh, in terms of anti-humanity, um, <clears throat> okay? So this is where I'm coming from. And so um, if governments um, here on this side or otherwise don't agree with it, I mean, you know, you can... You can make your own opinions about it, and so I will continue disseminating the opinions and essays of uh, Dar Jamal on here, and uh, and it it will continue. Uh, schisms galore, by the way. On November 16th, it was reported that Obama is pursuing an ambitious peace plan in the Middle East that involves the recognition of Israel by the Arab world in exchange for its withdrawal to pre-1967 borders. Yet the first appointment he has made was Ram Israel Emanuel uh, in his White House, uh, in his White House, uh, White House staff. <clears throat> Easily the most powerful office, um, well, presumably so, uh, in the White House, you know. Uh, Chief of Staff is, is essentially the gatekeeper to the president, uh, and um, he can he can keep quite a few people out, even if Obama does want to talk with those people. So it's it's quite a powerful position. Now, <clears throat> it remains to be seen how how far this will go, and I will you know I've had some comments on my channel. Well, let's just see how it goes, and and. Uh, how Obama and his administration will handle all this. Well, all true and good, but um, the pressure needs to be turned up now. We can't wait, you know. Wall Street is turning up the pressure on the incoming presidency as we speak. 
So there's no time to waste, basically. There is no time to waste. Um, if, uh, if the progressive and independent movements uh, in this country want to have any say-so, <laughs> the criticism and our voices need to be heard uh, and launched right now. Not after, <laughs> not after some other events uh, um, come about and happen. So please, people, keep this in mind. And um, well, I was going to read some more from this essay, but um, I just wanted to say um, I'm going to keep reading it. But um, the most important thing right now is to keep the pressure up um, on any incumbent um, politician and on the incoming administration because otherwise our voices will never, never, ever be heard. And we can't just sit around and wait what happens next. Many of us are informed enough to know that some of the advisors being hired now um, are not exactly uh, for peace. They have exemplified through their own actions in the past that this has not been so. And so it's time to speak out and to speak up and not to let up. And uh, I'm not saying, uh, you know, trash Obama. What I'm saying is, any politician who wants to do just a little bit of good has to be pushed in the right direction. And the time um, for that is now. And we have to push in this direction. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. See you later. <laughs>